This building is Daiwa Ubiquitas Computing Research Building and is, a, is very close to Kasugamon Gate of Tokyo University Hongo campus. And uh, for this building, we try to bring natural material, as, uh, in this case, wood. Let's move to the next view. So we cut the building to create this semi-outdoor space. This hall is designed to connect beautiful back gardens and main street of the campus. Let's move to next view. Please look at the ceiling of this space. So we did use wooden panels to create the flow in the space. The angle of each panel varies, and uh, gradually it starts from vertical to tilted. And we try to achieve the strong flow from the street to the back garden. Let's move to next view. This is the view from back garden. The back garden side we have high ceiling and street side we have low ceiling. The section of this space is following the section of lecture's hall above. We are viewing from this position. Next, we will move to here. This is the east facade of the building. As we used four types of wooden panels, and, uh, we put those panels randomly and to create the softness on the facade. Let's move to the next view. Please look at the detail of wooden facade. Each plank has a different dimensions and also the pitch of plank varies and then so totally it is random and organic. Please look at right side of the building. Right side we have vertical facade and left side we have tilted facade. And gradually the, the angle is changing and as uh, so we found a special way to follow that the dynamic move of the facade. We are viewing from this position. Next, we'll move to here.
This is the back facade of the building. We try to create harmony with beautiful Japanese garden and we did use the special screen mesh. We sprayed the powder of clay on the screen and then we tried to create the some warmness with industrial material. This is the detail of the screen. We worked with Shuhei Hasaro. He is a very famous craftsman from Hidetakayama. So he founded this the new method to create warmness by natural material. getting into the building. This is a corridor of second floor, and the column of the corridor is gradually tilted. And the angle is following the angle of the facade which we saw before. Dial House constructed this building and they are very good at this kind of complicated steel structure system. So this is the ground floor and uh, the difficulty of this space is tilted facade, as we saw before. Lixel has found a new way to adjust the different angle of glasses, and uh, they did use a special section of aluminum sash. Lastly, I will guide you to the stairs and the lecture room. This space is the main staircase of the building. So please look at the detail. So we did use a special steel mesh to separate the space. We are getting into lecture theater. This space is covered by large veneer and uh, we try to add the warmness and softness to the space. And also, we did use zigzag shape that to create the special effect of lighting. Let's move to the next view. This is the detail of lecture theater. And the detail of lighting is to emphasize the beauty of natural texture of large veneer. Thank you for joining this tour. So through these tours, I want to show you the natural material in the campus building.